blessed be and welcome to the circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. Well, it's that witchy time again. And what we're making today is four thieves vinegar. Okay, so what we have, the ingredients, is red wine vinegar. You can buy this at any, uh, any, any supermarket any problems. You can also use really good quality um, apple cider vinegar, um, but red wine vinegar is, is nice. Um, we also have some cayenne pepper. We also have some chilies. I've got these. Um, let's get those. I've just got these ones here. They're just the whole little chilies. They're, they're um, called bird's eye chilies. We've got some uh, black pepper in the whole, um, whole clove. Um, we have the um, garlic, and we have garlic cloves. And we also have some sage. Now there are all different types of recipes out there. This is just one of them. This is the one that I use. Um, and um, you can obviously add, subtract, um, um, whatever whatever you like. Uh, normally it would be the red wine vinegar and the garlic cloves and then you would choose four different um, ingredients to go with that. Um, so whichever one you, you feel. All of these are very easy to get from a supermarket. Um, sage you can get probably at, at most um, kind of new agey stores, not too hard to find. Um, and all of these other bits and pieces obviously you can get at a supermarket. All right, so how do we do this? Pretty easy actually. Obviously we'll take the, the lid off. Now I've taken a little bit out of here uh, just so that it's a little bit easier to, to put uh, bits and pieces in because as you add obviously the, uh, the, uh, the water, the, uh, the vinegar is going to, uh, to rise and you don't want it spurting out the top of the bottle. Not that you can see at this angle but um, so we start taking some of the clothes off and we add them in. Nice and easy. Now as you're adding them in, you can obviously just put your intent in there, what you would like this, um, this vinegar to do. Um, now Four Thieves vinegar is used for quite a few things. It's used for banishing, it's used for protection, it's used for healing. Um, and it's used for cleansing negativity and also repelling any kind of unwanted people, if that's uh, the way you're going, or um, unwanted energies, unwanted influences. Um, it's also back in the day, and I'm meaning really, really far back, it used to be used as a, as a health tonic. People would, uh, would take a little, little bit of it um, just to keep healthy because it has quite a few uh, good uh, medicinal herbs in it. Garlic is, is wonderful. Um, and it's kind of like uh, going to chase away, the, chase away the devil. So we put the last one, I don't want to tip it over too much, the last one in there. So we've got our, our clothes. And um, we'll just move these to the sides, not so messy. Now there's obviously no uh, special order that you need to put any of these in, however you would like. So we're just going to go with some cayenne pepper. Now this is going to add a little bit of heat. Um, and uh, obviously if it's being used for banishing or repelling, then that means that uh, it's going to be a little bit hot in, uh, in the old uh, um, my mind's escaping. It's going to be hot, pretty much. Okay, so we put that in. mark but that's all right again witchcraft is messy back on 
Now, the chilies. Again, this is going to make heat up. It's going to make it, uh, when it comes to, um, comes to anything, it's not going to be the place that you want to be. So we've got these chilies, hope you can see. Excuse my um, cayenne peppered hands. Um, but these are whole little chilies here and then we're going to put those in. Now we've got the pepper, black pepper. Black pepper is always good for repelling negativity. And again, I'll put those there. I hope you can see those. Anyone that knows palmistry is probably looking at my hands right now and going, ah, yes. Um, so we place those in. Try not to spill it everywhere. I don't know if you can see, that's looking quite, quite good so far. We've got all our little bits of ingredients in there. They're all floating at the top, but obviously when they start to take on the, uh, the vinegar, they're going to, to move down and uh, not float so much. Now lastly, we've got our sage. And again, try not to flick it everywhere. So we put that in as well. here where it hasn't quite um, gone down we have our cayenne pepper um, and we also have our I'm not sure if you can see there we go we also have our little um, um, peppercorns so that's it all you need to do now is obviously place your intent into this you you uh, fill it up with your energy so what you would be doing is feeling the energy coming through your hands and coming down even to the point if you wanted to putting your finger down in the in the center and and pretending that there's a there's a bolt of lightning going down into the the glass itself and filling that with your with your intent with your the reasoning and what you want this to do so you would do that filling it full of that energy and you would see that energy coming down and permeating every part not only the bottle but everything inside the bottle moving down so that it's glowing full of that intent pushing it down pushing it down So that you can feel it almost buzzing and glowing, buzzing and glowing. Now, place the top back on. And this is where you can give it a bit of a, a bit of a mix. So there you can see all of those ingredients all just moving through the vinegar. Now, this needs to sit in a nice dark spot for about six to eight weeks. And while that's happening, all of these will start to, to be, um, all that energy will start to draw out into the vinegar itself and start to permeate the vinegar. Um, so you've got the vinegar, you have the cloves, you have the sage, you have the chilies, you have the black pepper, and you have the cayenne pepper, um, all infusing and making that one nice hot mixture. Now, what I would suggest also is that every day you just, or 
maybe not every day, but every couple of days. Just grab hold, give it a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a, a little bit of a move around, and then reinforce your intent in there. Okay, re-put in some of that energy. So as you go, it'll be layer upon layer upon layer of energy going through. So by the time the six to eight weeks are done, you'll have a really strong, potent mixture of four thieves vinegar. <laughs>